We believe that people came here and marked crosses to commemorate something or right. to worship. Near a grotto in the one-time Roman city of Caesarea Philippi, archaeologists are finding clues that this was a place of immense importance to the early Christian church. This is something you see at pilgrimage sites. This is like the crosses on uh, uh, Helena's staircase in the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. Yeah. So the big question is, why? Like, why put a church here at all, and why does it become a pilgrimage site? So I think we have a clue, and you can find it in the Gospels. Here we go, reading from the book of Matthew. So when Jesus came into the district of Caesarea Philippi, which is right where we are, uh, he says to his disciples, who do you say that I am? And Simon Peter answered, you are the Messiah and the son of the living God. And Jesus answered him, blessed are you. So he's saying, uh, I will tell you, you are Peter and on this rock, I will build my church and the gates of Hades will not prevail against it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. So this is really the moment when Jesus is called the Messiah. This is the moment when he's kind of handing the church over to his apostles. So is that why this is here? Because it happens somewhere in Caesarea Philippi, they said, let's build a church here and venerate this story and make it a pilgrimage site. Yes, but I think there's even more than that. Okay. And to, in order to expand this to you, I would like to take you into the grotto. Into the grotto. Yeah. Josh, are you claustrophobic? No. <laughs> what? What is this? This is a Roman aqueduct. That goes to the grotto? Goes straight to the grotto. Oh boy. Okay. <sighs> okay. This passageway that Addie has sent me through is an ancient aqueduct, a long, dark water channel that's been here since Caesar was in diapers. These Roman aqueducts are held up with these flat, heavy stones that are set into an A-frame. They've been holding for a couple thousand years, but on the other hand, there's not much holding them there other than gravity. Lord only knows what's waiting for me on the other side. And I'm out. Ha. Well, you made it, Josh. What? Wh wait, why couldn't I walk around? Well, you have to work hard in order to learn the truth. What are you, a fortune cookie? All right, come on. Wow. I mean, you really don't feel the enormity of this grotto until you're inside of it. And to think that 2,000 years ago, all of this would have been underwater. Well, not all of it. The top of this rock was exposed. And what would have been on top of this rock during Roman times? We believe there could have been a statue, maybe Pan statue, uh -huh. standing here on, the to on top of the rock. Like a little island in this lake. Okay. Josh, I want you to think about that aqueduct that you just crawled through for a reason. Oh, so it's like maintaining the water level in here. It's maintaining the water level in order to keep this giant rock exposed. And on this rock, yeah. I will build my church. And the gates of Hades will not prevail against it. Correct. The entrance to the underworld itself, the gates of Hades, which is exactly what this place looks like. Exactly. Exactly.